We literally made our mark here when we were living in the dorms. Uh, if you were to get our room and lie underneath the desk and open up the drawer, underneath you would see a piece of art that we created. And we're planning to go down to the dorms to see if it's still there. But we had a lot of fun um, with the radio, between the radio station, um, our political activity, and working in our back theater and doing plays. And um, those are the escapades that I can actually commit to on record. <laughs> I kind of led a, a bifurcated existence here. I mean, on the one hand, I was uh, politically active. It was, uh, you know, there was a, a kind of a rivalry on campus between the freaks and the Greeks. And it was at a time when the, um, the fraternity and sorority system was actually beginning to wane. But I joined a sorority, so I, I was one of each. I was both a freak and a geek, so you were a, a Greek. I was a bridge person. <laughs> Uh, and my Greek experience serves me to this day because I know the Greek alphabet. I had to learn it during the um, <laughs> pledging and the um, hazing, and uh, it helps me a lot in crossword puzzles. So, Mark Wallace was a theater professor, and I was in business school for the first year and was a average student, and I changed over to theater and communications my second year here, and I made the dean's list. And Mark Wallace taught history of theater, directing. I mean, he was really the theater department, and I learned so much from him about theater. It, it really ignited a passion in me for theater that I still have to this day. Once I stepped on the, on the main campus in the, in the quad, I guess you call it, I just felt like I was back home. 